What's up everybody? Welcome or welcome back to my YouTube channel. So this week we will be going to Spirit Rock or aka the Corn Ruins in Ontario up by Tobamori outside of Wyerton. So even though there's not a lot of reviews on this place, I have visited it once and I feel like this energy when I'm there, that something is there. So I've been to it a couple times now and the second time I brought a spirit box but I also brought spirit talker and there was so much that came through that made sense. This time I decided to record it and vlog it. Now the reviews here are very mixed. There are some people that say like, oh it is haunted. You know, I do hear things, sometimes we see things, which is interesting because people are not actually allowed here after dark. And as you can see right now, the sun is going down. Before I do this intro, because I wanted to do it while it was still light outside, while I was still allowed to. Well it doesn't say you can't park in the parking lot when it's dark. It just says that you can't go on the trails or go to the ruins when it's dark. So with that being said, Sorry, I thought I heard something. So reading online, as much as people want to cover up and say that the building was just burnt down, it was actually said to be burnt down by vandals, people who vandalize things. But it was such a beautiful house and such a big part of the history for being as old as being built in the late 1800s. I'd say that's pretty cool. Some people even call it a castle. So it actually says in here that Spirit Rock is closed on Sunday and Friday and Saturday are closed. Me and that other person who was here earlier were technically not supposed to be here. If those are the witching hours... I don't know why it's closed those days. I think those are the only days that I have actually come here too. So the Corn was once a beautiful 17 room stone mansion overlooking Colpoise Bay. Crumple stone walls surrounding makes it the perfect place for people to go and picnic and people to go walk by. It's now listed as a historical site outside of Wyerton. It also leads off to Spirit Rock and takes you down a huge spiral staircase and leads you to a beautiful trail along the water. So where I'm standing here is actually where I got the most activity. I am going to set up my spirit talker. I'm gonna hit start. I'm gonna put this off to the side and turn it on full volume. I'm also going to have my EMF set up just a little bit away. It sucks that it doesn't make noise. Hopefully I can catch it going off. It's almost sunset and I'm not supposed to be here past sunset. Let's see if we can get anything out of both of these things. Turned my camera off for two seconds so I can get a couple intro videos of this place. And I got, did you hear me? And go right. The last time I was here, I can't remember if I was sitting on this rock or if I was sitting on the lower rock. But I think I'll just sit on the lower rock to start because this is to my right. And they told me to go to my right. And this is the ruins behind me. That's the other half. Right now I'm just sitting on the ledge of what could have been just the border of the house. There is a picnic bench in front of me for pedestrians to stop by and check out the ruins. It's a place for them to sit and eat, I guess. Right now, we're just going to sit and would wait. Would you help? Wait for a sign. On Spirit Talker, I got, would you help? It's gone now, it's very small. Do you need help with something? Last time I was here, I had a full conversation with someone. There was another person here, so I had this really low but I was actually speaking to to this entity in my head, which is kind of crazy to think that they can hear your thoughts, but every time I was thinking something because the person was looking at the ruins, which they are totally entitled to, it was answering what I was thinking every two seconds. It was kind of interesting and now it's on the hush. Maybe it just doesn't like to be recorded. So right now we're just gonna sit and wait for a sign. After a few minutes, maybe I'll Horror just popped up on Spirit Talker, which is very odd because this place at the time was worth millions dollar home. It was huge. You can even see in the ruins, it was like a 17 bedroom house and the gardens here were beautiful from past pictures. They were probably poor after they made it. Spirit Talker was going up like crazy the last time I was here. I'm thinking maybe I should put on Spirit Box. See if I could get any words out of that. Without headphones, I have a hard time hearing it. Me going on these adventures, expeditions, would be so much easier to do with another person, but... It's just me and we're riding solo. I really want to sit on this part of the rock. There's like a million and one red ants and Sage will only fix so much and I don't think they'll take away the red ants. I think I'm going to find another place to sit. Decide. 
Beard Talker just said beside. I don't know what that means. So I caved in and we're sitting on the rock, but we're kneeling. I hope it's all the same to them. We hear you. It says we hear you. Do you want to come talk with me if you hear me? There's emotion. emotion. Are you happy where you are? Still nothing. So the word human just popped up on the spirit box. I mean, I hope you're human. I'm gonna turn on the spirit box and I'm going to see if I can catch anything out of that. I'll use my voice. Anybody here with me right now? There's something. Are you happy where you are? When I went to, holy, when I went to look that way, I felt like this pressure that like, like pushed me back and I fell from up here to down here. I'm a tall person, but that's pretty high. I felt like this like pressure, like I was being pushed. I just need like a breather quick. I just didn't see that coming. Spirit talker finally talks. I'm outside. The sun is setting. It's getting a little bit scarier out here feel like i should turn on spirit box again i'm thinking of sitting back on the same spot but i'm thinking of like actually sitting down and not kneeling that could have also been me that fell i don't know it happened so fast it's better than falling forward that's quite a ways down there's very many mosquitoes so i've run through worst case scenarios and best case scenarios so i think that the worst case scenario would be if someone found me, took my equipment, and ran. The best case scenario is I get some answers and hopefully get to talk to somebody. It's so weird because Spirit Talker hasn't gone off once. I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing. So guys, I have everything set up. I have my spirit box connected to my headphones. The entire time, it's like maybe a minute and a half setting up, Spirit Talker has not gone off once. This right here is called a spirit box and it flips through radio frequencies in hopes that like spirits and entities are able to jump in and we can communicate that way. The Estes method is someone will sit, someone will have headphones and usually a blindfold, which is what I prefer because then your senses are cut off and you are solely focused on the voices and the noises that come through the spirit box. I think that the Estes method, when you have another person, the other person is asking questions and your senses are cut off, all you're hearing is what's in here and you're not hearing the questions. The answers aren't influenced by the questions. Whereas a Ouija board, you can move it wherever you'd like to, even if people say like, oh, I didn't move it. You know, it's one of those things, people can still manipulate it. And same with the, um, the sticks. It'll pop up right here. <laughs> These are what I'm talking about. Those can be easily manipulated by somebody. I'm gonna say questions out loud, and if I hear something come on the headset, I will say it. You can believe what you want to. As I'm under, I will also have Spirit Talker going as well. So as I'm hearing things, and as I'm doing the Estes method, this will be going off. You will be able to hear it, but I will not, and I will have to check it when I'm done. I'm gonna do this for a couple minutes. I'm gonna set a timer so hopefully I don't go under for too long, but without further ado, here we go. I think it's good now. It's getting really dark. I'm gonna turn this on now. Just the feeling of knowing that I'm gonna be here and this is an open spot between animals and people. Guys, go like because I'm doing this for you. I'm gonna turn this on and you can feel free to communicate with me. I'll be able to hear you and communicate. You can also talk to Spirit Talker as well. I will be able to hear you through that as soon as I am done. But I would love to talk to you if anybody's here with me right now. Okay. Oh, that's so loud. For the whole time, this is what I'll be hearing. Maybe I should just leave it like this. Maybe if you guys hear it. Where's something?
I'm gonna put this here and see if you guys can hear anything. Is anybody here with us right now? Are you happy? I'm sorry this happened to you where your building burnt down. Are you sad about it? So I'm putting stuff away now. It's getting really dark out and technically you're not supposed to be here after dark. I feel like that would be the perfect time to get answers, the perfect time when they would come out and want to talk. Rules are rules and for doing this for the first time I don't want to be getting in trouble already. God. So God just came through Spirit Talker, which I find really interesting because the last time I had Spirit Talker, the name Jesus came through. Maybe these people were Christian or believed in God and Jesus and prayed. Now for the most important part of closing off the spirit communication. Kidding. Use protection. Can you stay a while? I you not when I say I was just about to sage myself and can you stay a while pops up. I'd love to stay but I have to go home. This will definitely be a place that I come back in. Thank you to whoever talked to me, but you are not allowed to follow me home. Thank you so much for talking to me, but you are not allowed to follow me home. What year is it? Today is July 2nd. 2023. The sun has set. It is 9.22. The sun set a couple minutes ago. That was the first adventure. Although we didn't get to doing the barn that burnt down, we did end up doing the ruins. I think we got some stuff out of that. Definitely the spirit box was saying something. I will go back and look at the footage and see if it said anything. I can't manipulate the radio stations. I can't manipulate what comes through the radio stations. If it made sense to my questions, then for the people who are skeptics, how can you explain that? Spirit Talker, there's really great reviews on it and it does cost a little bit of money to download and I downloaded it because it had great reviews. I personally didn't believe in it at first. I had mixed reviews at first. Personal reviews about Spirit Talker. After careful consideration, multiple uses of it and experiments with it, I do believe in it. The last time that I was here, it said this place is home and you know, when I went to the graveyard to see my sister and my grandfather, it didn't say this place is home. I don't know how it works. A mosquito. And I can't explain it. I do believe in Spirit Talker now. So I'm finding it's very rare to find reviews online saying that that place is haunted. I personally would not go out by myself in the dark, but that's also just me. But I did want to see if I could come into contact with anything, and I think I did to a certain point. I definitely would like to investigate it in the dark one day. I think that would be super cool. Based on some of the investigating that I did tonight, I didn't have any questions and I didn't want to investigate to find further truth. But I am also by myself, so I am doing my best. I am taking applications if anybody would like to come and join me. I'm going to be doing this content now for YouTube and do some paranormal investigations. I think that would be super cool. Thank you so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed the video. If you liked the video, give it a big thumbs up and hit that subscribe button. Turn on those notifications because I will be posting whether it is paranormal investigating or sitting down and having a brief conversation, debates or having conflicts, anything like that goes on this channel. Feel free to comment as well. If you heard something on Spirit Box that I didn't pick up on, please drop a comment below. Also drop a comment, let me know if you know any paranormal sites that I could go to in the possible near future. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time.